I record it. Yeah, yeah. Alright, what's up YouTube? Welcome back with a brand new video. And in today's video we are going to be looking at top ten corrupt cops that got caught on camera. Hey, not all cops are bad, but a lot of them are bad more than good, which is bad, but let's watch what happens and what they do when they get caught. Just give me some money. This police officer in Johannesburg stopped yeah, a couple into... for allegedly drunk driving. The video doesn't start from the very beginning of the encounter, so it's hard to know everything. But we do see the man in the car set the leading question, which he must have known was going to get a bite. So, what choices do I have? What are my choices? Which is when the officer lays out that he could just pay 200 rand, about 12 US dollars, and even though he's drunk, he'll get off. But see, the man doesn't appear drunk at all. The Johannesburg officer seems to agree, too, after the couple notifies him that they've been recording the entire exchange and would just love to get his badge number. Oops. So, so basically, he was telling him, oh, yeah, you're drunk, you're drunk. And then when he found out that, like, they recorded the whole interaction, he's like, oh, shit, you're not even drunk. I'll let you go. Because you're now, as she's recording, I want to find your badge number because you've just said the 200 bucks is not anything. Number nine. I'll just take nah, this. They need to file this a complaint ASAP. So wrong, it's almost funny. During a hearing, the man accused stands next to his lawyer in front of the judge facing the music of whatever crime he's been accused of. Behind them, a police officer stands dangerously close to the defendant's table where all his paperwork lies. He seems to read over the papers, very interested. Then, suddenly, he grabs one of the pieces of evidence. The video cuts out and we see another officer take the paper away. What just happened? How is this anywhere in this man's job description? Of course, after being asked to hold a press conference and apologize, which he declined. Bro, they're, they're literally trying to hide the evidence. Oh my god, bro. If I was the judge, I'd be like, alright, both of you, you're gonna be in my courtroom next, bro. You're trying to hide. Isn't that illegal tampering with evidence? That's illegal. Tampering with evidence. I'm pr if I remember my loss correctly, that is definitely illegal, bro. They should be prosecuted. He was held in jail for 10 days. Oh, shit, they Had did. Not okay. Been the camera, this would probably just have been another, another day, day on the job. Yep. Number eight, yep. crooked cop. They, they, they look like they weren't even worried, bro. They, it looks like they do that normally. He just walked up, started reading. Oh, no, I don't want this. He gave it to his friend. His friend took it away. Like, come on, bro. YouTuber. Come on, we need more cameras. A YouTuber to have a camera set up in his car. A cop pulls Chris Cowbaugh over at a DUI checkpoint, and he starts asking the officer questions about whether or not he'll be detained. He shrugged off. The cops forcing him to get out of the car and watch as they use a canine unit to justify probable cause to search the vehicle. Even though it's a DUI checkpoint, they never actually try to see if he's consumed alcohol or ask any questions about it at all. These crooked cops seem very interested in finding something else. Lo and behold, as soon as they realize that Chris has a camera in the car catching the entire thing on video, the officers let him go. Oh Chris God. wasn't about to keep quiet about it either. So he uploaded the video and this cop became one of America's most disliked people within a few days. Yes, sir. Well deserved. Right Am I being detained? Or not? Oh, I'm going to go. the side right there. Okay, step on out. Am I, yeah. So I'm being detained? Put the pull on the other side. Number seven, exposed. Most of the time, crooked cops just misuse their authority to get benefits, whether those benefits are cash, credibility, or even power. Sometimes, though, cops are just bad people. This guy, for example, is a classic infiltrated weirdo. He looks the thing like about a weirdo. A cop is whether you're in uniform or plain clothes, you have an image to uphold. You're an officer of the law, on duty and off. Officer Adam Fruit true. exposed himself to little girls who were, at that time, on their way to church. He showed them his penis and Under. asked for directions. Like, don't mind my penis, where's the nearest McDonald's? Officer Fritz was picked up and charged after being caught on surveillance tape. What a Number piece six, of... Cop bro, man. that's a piece of shit, bro. Oh my god, doing that to little girls. What goes on through... Bro, I just want to understand what goes on through a human brain when they be like, Oh, you know what? I'm going to go flash little girls and ask for directions. Like, bro, oh my god. Oh my god. Fans pay. 
this one makes that didn't me tell really you big angry. Time how when you call the police saying there's a man in the area, the last thing you expect is for the officers who show up to then turn on you, pepper spray you, and steal your money. What the fuck? When the police showed up expecting to find an armed assailant but saw nothing, they proceeded to search the same people who had made the call. They put a man up against the fence, searched him, found money in his pocket, which later turned out to be $1,300, and you can catch the moment when the officer pockets the money. Everyone on the scene tells the cops that what he's doing is just wrong, but they just end up on his bad side. The worst part is... Yo! Yo, he's not even acting like a, th a cop, he's acting like a thug, bro. He's acting like he pushed him up on the wall, grabbed his money, put it in his own pocket, bro. Nah, I got at that point. I don't give a fuck if you're a cop, bro. I'm throwing hands. Seems put me in jail, bro. It's worth it. <laughs> Put me in jail, let's go to the court. Let, let's show the judge what he did. Number five, planting that ass just fucking robbed him in front of all those people. What the, the fuck? fuck? Luckily, surveillance cameras can still Bro, he actually robbed him. I can't get over that. He took a oh, hell was in a smoke shop, supposedly under instruction to plant evidence. He walks in with his hands inside his jacket pockets, looking pretty shady, in fact. He seems to ask the shop owner for something, and while the shop owner's eyes are averted, he walks over to the side of the register and drops a small bag of crack cocaine on the counter. That amount of crack could have put the shop owner away for up to seven years. Thanks to CCTV footage, though, it's just showing how shady some police can be. The oh, owner was arrested call? and in jail for five days before he could make bail. In the end, the police and DA refused to make a statement and even held on to the tapes for months before the defendant's lawyer was successful in obtaining them. Oh my god, Number four, bro. Speeding behind And that's the other thing, they help each other out. They help you, bro. Fucking... You know what's worse than a cop who hides on the They're side of the road bro. to catch someone speeding? A cop who is speeding on the highway and then pulls you over for speeding behind him. It sounds crazy, but this crazy cop was going 85 miles per hour with no lights on. His leisurely speed was defiant, probably thinking no one would dare do anything about it. Our cameraman hero was not intimidated. Even when he got pulled over, you want to go that speed? Car, I'll go that speed too. You're a human. I'm a human too. In 60 mile per hour what? What? Going at he thinks just because he's a cop, he won't get in a car accident. And I bet you, if he were to get in a car accident, he would try to blame it on the other driver. Even if it's his fault, one million percent, he'll still be like, "Nah, nah, nah. You, you, you ran into me, bro. That was, nah, not my fault. You going to jail? You ran into a car. I'm <laughs> like, nah, bro." I the police, in that case, are as much a danger to the roads as he supposedly is for following them. And he's Literally. the one getting pulled over. The officer's partner, who steps in to talk to him, quickly realizes he's got a point. And though they don't admit it, they certainly get real quiet and evasive. Do you think this driver had a point? Sir, you were doing 85 miles an hour when you passed me. And uh, apparently that's against the law, too. So where do you get out pulling me over for speeding yeah. when you flew past a bunch of traffic in 60 miles an hour? No lights. Let him know. No lights, no siren. Number three. Let him know. Canadian cop. Now, I know we're all over the stereotype that Canadians are great people. They may be. Some are nice. Oi, mate. They say you sorry on that in an adorable way. But in every country, there's good people and bad people. Yes, in sir. this case, bad. good cops and bad cops. These two young American kids crossed the border for a weekend, probably to take advantage of the 19-year-old drinking age on the other side of the border, and got stopped by a shady cop in the process. He tells them that their radar detector is illegal in Canada. That could be true as far as they know, but the next thing he says is what makes it all the shadier. Since you're not from here, you'll have to pay me now or else you'll get detained. Oh my for some God. reason, after talking to the cop for a couple of minutes, he lets it go and tells them they're getting a big break. It's no wonder why they posted that video afterward. All gas. $600 fine for that. Is it real? I'm to seize your car. I get to seize it. And since you're not from here, you have to pay me now. Or else you get to yeah, pay me now. Okay. Why not? 
Nah, no, bro. I'd have Cops been like, have Ferrari, nah, bro. I'd rather not pay. Arrest me, sir. Can you, you please like arrest me? <laughs> but if you have evidence like that, let them arrest you. Because you there's can fuck them up. Take their job away. And then there's driving to work in the Ferrari you bought with dirty money. When you're a cop and a criminal, you kind of act smart. And this guy just didn't get the memo. This guy from Birmingham, England, was running a side business waiting for men outside of strip clubs to drive them to a brothel, where he then overcharged their credit cards for the services, skimming money from every transaction. As you well, guess, oh that cash God. added up quickly. Now, where could a crooked cop put his crooked money? Real estate? Stocks? No, he decided to buy a $250,000... Well, that's not suspicious. A cop who barely makes any money just bought a brand new Ferrari. Oh my God, you know what? That's regular. All cops who go and buy supercars with their massive paychecks that they get. Wait, hold on. Let me just check something real quick. How much do cops get paid hourly? We got, we, we got 32 bros. <laughs> Brother, 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 your annual, like every year is 67,000, bro. You need, what, five years to buy that Ferrari? <laughs> but you know, it doesn't look suspicious at all for you, a cop that barely gets paid anything, to go and buy a Ferrari. Why not? You know? Ferrari, and then drive it to work. You know. And he drove it to the police station. Oh my god, no way. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but no way. It's work. He drove it to a police station. Catch criminals for a living. <laughs> Not too smart there, buddy. Oh, Number one, boy. my breathalyzer don't lie. This Utah officer is actually the only woman on our list. She's a Utah Highway Patrol officer who actually looks wow. cheerful and... Only one crooked woman in the whole department of the United States of America. <laughs> Good job. Just joking, bro. There's a lot, but... Hey, only one got caught. Only Even one got caught. Photos, <laughs> she's approachable, young. But little did you know, she's not who you want pulling you over. For some reason, she started building a habit of pulling people over and arresting them for drunk driving. Sometimes, she'd even carry out breathalyzer tests, which the suspects would pass, and she'd still arrest them. Oh my God. She tried the same tactic with accusations from DUIs, drugs, and even bogus speeding arrests. She did this so many times that the complaints were her downfall. People came together and began a class action lawsuit against her. In the end, it was found that she had done this to over 200, 200 different, different people, people. Oh my and she was God. fired in 2012 for her actions. A class action lawsuit ensued, but no criminal charges were ever filed against That's her. That's it? All they did Thanks was fire her? Oh, hell, go, bro. Remember to subscribe. She did all that to those people, and all they did is fire her. Well, Karen, you gave us all these people to arrest and get their money and uh, give them tickets, but now that we found out that you're lying, all we're going to do is say goodbye. Don't come back to your job. Nah, bro. Oh, she needs to be prosecuted. But either way, Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification if you're new, and hey, bro, come watch me live. I'm live right now. Peace.